Michael, I'm just, I'm just warning you. Going to work for Johnny would be a mistake. You come into this business, you are gonna lose people that you love. That's what this business does. It takes your heart and it takes your soul. Why would you want that for yourself? You regret giving up your place as Jake's father. But Jason, be honest with me. Do you regret joining the business? I'd probably be dead if I hadn't met your dad. But... Sonny, Sonny represented everything the Quartermains didn't. There was, no, there was no expectations. There was no pressure for me to be somebody I wasn't. You know, working for your dad, it, it, it gave me purpose. And, and at the time, that's all I cared about. But if I had known what was coming, the people that I hurt, the loss that I feel, the hell I put you through before Jake was ever born, I wouldn't have taken the job. I just, I, I want better for you. Michael, and I'm telling you, if you come into this business, one way or another, you are gonna pay. the moments when the house was so quiet. I'm lucky you had the boys and I could actually hear myself think. No, I did anything to listen to camera and Jake fighting over a toy. I would offer you something to drink, but no, I please, just, but don't worry about that. I'm, I actually wasn't planning on staying long. I just wanted to come by and tell you how sorry I was. Jake was a really special little boy. Thank you. Yeah. How's Jason doing? Oh, he's working a lot. Anything to distract him from thinking about Jake. Yeah, yeah, I tried going back to work too, but Steven said I wasn't ready. He said I needed more time to grieve. But what he doesn't understand is that time isn't going to make any of this better. <laughs> Nothing will. Elizabeth? I was really awful to you after Jake was born. The things that I did, I was jealous. Really jealous that you could give Jason something that I couldn't. And then I turned around and asked him to give Jake up. But you did what was best for Jake. I just wanted to tell you how very sorry I am. Yeah, we all did things that didn't make a whole lot of sense back then. But now I have a better understanding of why it all happened, at least for me. You know, I spent, I was so used to just leaning on Lucky and having him support me. And when the rules were reversed, I, I didn't know what to do. He went spiraling out of control with his addiction. And I failed him by turning to Jason. You get good grades. You know, you can go to college, you get a good job when you're finished. I'm not cut out for the corporate world. <sighs> Look, I barely make it through every day at Madison wearing a tie. I can't imagine putting one on every morning just to sit behind a desk for the rest of yeah, my life. Don't trust me, I'm right there with you. Then why are you pushing okay, this? Okay, I'm not trying to make you somebody that you're not. I know what that's like. I know that's not going to make you happy. I just, I just think that you need time to figure out what will make you happy. I mean, do you remember those, those travel books I used to read to you? About Africa, yeah. Yeah, don't you don't you want to go there someday? Uh, Michael, there's a, there's a whole world out there. I mean, you can go anywhere you want. You can be anything you want. It's all, it's just right there. No, what I want is to be independent. So not, not have to rely on Dad and his connections and you stepping in to save me all the time. I want to prove I can stand on my own and take care of myself. There's other ways to do that besides going to work for Johnny. Look, when someone you, you care about is in danger, you, you don't call the cops. 
You take action and the threat goes away. That's all I want from my life. It's to be in control of my life and never feel powerless again. He's been the one person I could count on. You know, the one person who would pick me back up and put me together when I fell apart. I just wish I could have been that strong for him. But instead, I chose to be with Jason, and I ended up hurting him the most. Because he trusted me to keep Jake safe. Yeah, but Jason doesn't blame you for what happened, so I don't, I don't think you should blame yourself. Elizabeth, it was an accident. If there's anything you need, you let me know, okay? Thank you. You're welcome. Sam. Yeah. Um, this was, this is Jake's favorite toy. I want Jason to have it. Wow. Um, I will give this to him. This is going to mean so much more than you'll ever know. Thank you. Was, uh, was a blank slate. You know, the Quartermains you know, tried to help me by telling me stories or bringing me things I used to like, and I, I know that they meant well, but it felt like they were pushing me to be somebody else. So I pushed back because I wanted to be the one in control of my life. You know what's wrong with that? Well, there's nothing wrong with that, Michael, but I, I, I went about it the wrong way. I ended up hurting people who love me. You know, when I first told Alan I was gonna go work for Sonny, he, he blew up, he tried, he tried to forbid it. Which made you only want him more, right? I realize now that Alan was just looking out for his son. But I thought I knew better. I turned my back on the Quartermains. I started my new life and made sure they weren't any part of it at all. Alan would reach out to me, I'd shut him down. And I said some terrible things to him. And then Alan died <sighs> before I can make it right between us. And I have to live with that every day. But I like to think I learned from it. So no matter what you choose, whether I think you're right or you're wrong, I'm not gonna turn my back on you. All I can do is love you and I, and I always will. Look, I want to let you know I heard every single thing that you said. But I have to make this choice on my own. I went by Elizabeth's to tell her how sorry I was about Jake and the way I treated her after he was born, and I realized I made some really horrible choices. That was a long time ago. I know. I still felt like I owed her an apology. It really wasn't fair of me to take out all of my insecurities about not being able to have a child out on her, and she was really very gracious about the whole thing. She said we all make mistakes. She's right, we all do. Jason. She gave me this and um, she wanted you to have it. She said it was Jake's favorite. I guess he does take after his father after all. I think if you had given yourself a chance you would have been an amazing father. Well, um... A good father knows when to let go. No matter how much you love a child, you know, there comes a point when you have to step aside and let them live their own life, and... Michael's at that point. 
really scares me. Pretty much convinced himself that taking a job with Johnny is the answer to all his problems. Is he really that desperate to, to be a part of the I mean, business? He, he's, he's so desperate for control. You know, Michael's life has, has really not been his own life. He's always been watched by guards. People always tell him what to do, and Michael thinks this business is his way to get his power. Uh, well, what did you tell him? I told him that this business takes a lot more than it gives. But he's, he's not going to listen to me. Well, you know, I, I think you're right. At some point, you're going to have to step aside and make him learn from his own mistakes. He's going he's gonna to choose his own path and live with the consequences. I don't know. But he's just been paying for all the mistakes Sonny and I made for, for his whole life. You know, I didn't, I didn't want to see that happen to Jake, so I tried to give him a safer life, but in the end, it didn't really... No, 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 don't you do that. You did the best you I could know, to keep Michael and Jake it wasn't enough. It wasn't enough. I can't control what happens to them or anybody else. I wish I, I, wish I would have realized that. And while Jake was still here. Did you get it?